Hello, welcome to Miniature Realms. My name's Stuart and welcome to another Hobby Diary. Um, I've tried to um, not do too many of these. The idea is to do one every couple of months or so. Um, and I think this is number three. Um, it's nice to kind of just sort of get on camera really. And for those of you who follow the channel uh, across all my projects, um, or most of them, just give you a little bit of an update. I know some of you are subscribers for a particular project that I'm doing and watch out for those videos alone and some of you I engage with um, across the whole of the, the hobby that I'm doing so it's more of a kind of an update really for, for those people who are interested in, in, in the channel as a whole and, and what I'm up to. Um, so what have I been up to? What have I been up to? It's been a busy couple of weeks not all fun stuff. Um, managed to I have a bit of a problem with my back occasionally and I managed to injure it quite a few times this year. It's been looked at, been sorted, but I did have to take a week off work, um, which put me a little bit behind with, with work as well. So it meant I couldn't sit at the desk. And then when I could get back to the desk, I had to kind of give up on my own hobby time really to catch up on work projects, which is the, the joys of being self-employed. Um, I can't complain too much. There's too many benefits the other way. Um, my mum's been a bit ill as well. Um, I won't go into any details nothing nothing too too serious but she's been in hospital and again family and things like that come before toy soldiers um but um the last weekend was a really really good one so as i'm recording this i'm not long back from the plastic crack podcasts um crack con which was held at balls and sword hobbies in derby um really really fantastic day those of you who are familiar with the plastic crack podcast um, will have heard about it i'm sure um it was a small kind of meet up for regular listeners or watchers of their youtube podcast on a monday night it's hosted by four youtubers which i'm sure most of you who are watching this are well aware of but in case you're not so we've got ken from miniature wargaming warriors martin from seventh son dom from boot on the table and Stee from On Point HQ. So they get together on a Monday night and, and do a live stream, a live podcast and talk about all things Toy Soldiers. Um, and th they've got a nice nice little following along now and they decided to put on a sort of a one day get together with lots of kind of demo participation games and things. Much fun was had by all. No doubt you're seeing a few pictures up on the screen as I'm rambling away now. But uh, my, um, my, my friend Dan, who's a co-host on out of the frying pan podcast I do, so the Middle Earth side of my hobby, um, we were invited to do a um, run a table there, and we ran a Middle Earth game, and we ran the Ammon Hen scenario. Really good fun doing it, and chatting to people. I took a few bits along from the channel as well, so some of the things I've been painting, so some of the epic Americans of War, my 10 mil Wars of the Roses, and some of my bolt action, just a little selection of each. Um, and I had some nice painting chats with a few of you, so um, thanks to you who um, came and had a chat with me. It was really, really nice to have a catch up, but um, really, really nice. First time I've been away from the family, um, and had a few beers since the beginning of, of the pandemic so it was a real real nice to start to feel like that's a return to normality i think i worked out that the last time i went away to an event as well would have been it'll be two years in this december so it was nearly full two years um, and that was a middle earth event and then i I took the whole of the first quarter off the year after to plan for the event that I was running that didn't run, so decided not to do any events that go to any events that that quarter, and, and and then nothing happened. So hindsight now, I'd have got more gaming in. But hey, I was back doing it. So where's where's the the, the channel and the projects at and things? So they're coming along quite nicely. Um, by as I spoke about on the last hobby vlog, adding more projects to the channel um, obviously had a knock-on effect on the speed of. Um, the ones that are commonly being done. As it stands, I still have four major projects. The, the, the long-standing, ongoing Middle Earth one, which will always be there. Um, and there's no kind of set targets for anything of that at the moment. I'll just do things as and when, which is quite freeing. Um, and as, as you know, there's not much content for that on, on this channel. And um, there will be a little bit, but I do save most of that for out of the frying pan. Um, I've got the massive um, project that is the epic American Civil War. That is still my biggest project and it's not going anywhere. I am chipping away slowly, but I have enjoyed doing some other things. There's no intent for that to go anywhere at all. Um, I think my expectations are 
the, the first games I do won't be huge. And I, again, I've covered this on, on videos before, but uh, the big Antietam game that I was planning for all my project vlogs, that is probably my, my end goal. And if that end goal isn't for another 12 months, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that, to be honest with you. It's nice to um, to slowly build up the brigades and um, and then maybe start playing some smaller, some smaller games. And it will be a project that turns into one that's never really finished until I've painted absolutely everything I own, which could be a while. And I'll, maybe then I'll still add bits because I'll release more bits it'll be one of those ongoing things but I imagine we're probably two or three months off a stage where I feel like it's in a really good place where I can play some decent sized games and that'll be a, that's my kind of next goal for it um, the Wars of the Roses one I'm, I'm plugging along there I've nearly finished my first battle which will be a sixth of, of the project so to speak I've um, just got some basing to do there'll be another couple of videos coming up soon with that I think um, I've done a com first command stand and some handgunners and things so they may be the next couple of videos that come out of this we'll have to see um, as and what I edit and what order and things so if you if you're interested in those more is coming Bolt action, I'm really being enjoying the bolt action projects. Bolt action's grabbed me a little bit, and that's was weird because I'm not playing it. Um, and I will do, but it's I really like um, I really like the campaign books. I really like the way they kind of inspire to to work on a particular project and that might just be a thousand point force you can get all themey you can watch some films you can read the campaign books pick the fear selectors i quite enjoy picking bolt action as a as a very different kind of project it's a bit of a palette cleanser in many ways compared to some of the others obviously because it's 28 mil rather than the smaller scale which i'm doing for all my other historical projects i've recently finished the, all the scenery for my north africa board which has been on the on the video that's come out previous to this one so if you haven't seen that worth worth going to have a look if it's something that interests you um, and all of the models bar my Matilda 2 which is going to be a bit of a, a painting video so I've kept that back but all of the other models um, are, are either finished or have lots of paint on so all the airbrushing has been done I'm onto the latter stages but I'm, I'm doing it as one big chunk now rather than individual things because I really want to get it done because I want to do, move on to the next bolt action project which I'll come back to in a moment um, so that's probably where I am um, if I if I kind of look back on when I started the channel just over six months ago nearly seven months now um, I would have probably expected to be a bit further along with the epic American Civil War but I guess I didn't see myself doing bolt action or, or 10 mil wars of the roses at the time and that's the give and take of, of, of doing those extra projects so future plans so i've already told you what i plan to do really with the epic is to keep chipping away at it but i need to get a little bit smarter with um what i choose so i need to do a mini a mini plan for the next sort of six weeks or so to to really kind of nail down two forces that i can do some do some games and things and i'll come back to games and how that might appear on the channel in a moment um i've got another bolt action project lined up all the stuff's been purchased and I've had it for a while. I made the mistake, or maybe not the mistake, of, of re-watching the Pacific, so the, the made by um, the same guys that made the Band of Brothers. I really, really enjoyed it, and it kind of, with Island Assault coming out, kind of settled my, um, my mind. Um, I'm gonna be doing both factions this time, um, unlike with North Africa, when I've only done the British. Um, I'll be playing those games against my uh, my friend Dan once he, he does his DAC sometime next year, so they will kind of be put into store storage in the, in the miniatures cabinet for a while. Um, but I'm going to do both sides for, for the Pacific. And I won't go into too much details because as soon as I finish the, fur, the North Africa things, I'll start a project blog for Bolt Action Pacific and that'll be a, a, a new series of videos. So if that's something that interests you, um, watch out, hopefully coming in the next sort of six weeks or so, if things go well. Um, Wars of the Roses 10 mil. That's something I'd like to maybe when I finish my Bolt Action actually focus on for a few weeks and really try to blast through it because they do paint up really really quick um, I've just been doing it as a as a very kind of short project and when I do paint a unit it's only taking me a couple of hours so I might well do it just to finish it because again it gives me something else to play um, it's nice to finish projects and it frees up time which is what I feel I'm going to need to do so the next thing I want to talk about is more epic scale and uh, those of you who've been with the channel from the beginning know that, that Napoleonics is really what dragged me back into historical gaming but I'm not doing any um, and there was this kind of hope for epic um, Napoleonics coming out of Warlord games and um, I'd be pretty confident that we're going to see that as as a very you know in the next six months i'm not sure about release dates and things but um rumors here little tidbits of information there 
Um, I've watched a lot of the interviews on the Royal Games Open Day, um, and someone asked John Stallard and, and uh, Alessio in a seminar about it, and asked John Stallard mainly, and he dodged the question very, very well, but it sounded like one of their team had given it away, and there's some other information that I may have heard, and I'm sure others of you as well have now. Um, so we never know for exact, because there's nothing official, but I'm pretty confident I'd put some, I'd comfortably put a bit of money on it that that would be um, a release fairly, fairly soon. So that's quite a big thing for me because I'm not going to be able to ignore it it's too shiny the sensible thing would be not to buy it if it was to, to, to come out before I finish the American Civil War but ultimately the two reasons one I won't be able to there won't be the willpower because it's my favorite thing just before American Civil War the second one is um, I think this channel's grown a lot based on the epic battles things and it would be silly not to cover it and I wouldn't want to miss out on uh, all the traction that, that the channel might get so and that seems a bit silly but I, you know I'd like to I'd like to grow the channel a bit more I'd like to have a few more subscribers and I'd hope that people that are interested in black powder American Civil War in that scale may might also be interested in Napoleonics well you, you let me know in the comments because I'm sure a few of you watching this would be those those people so I, I don't think I'll be able to just sit on it i'd like to kind of enjoy the the ride of the releases as on when it came out now, who knows when that will be i think last year i didn't get my hands on a box till when was it february time or something um i don't know whether that'll be the same time plan i don't know if it'll be later be sooner who knows but i want to be in a position where i can kind of do it without it impacting too many other things so by finishing off wars of the roses and not now replacing it with with english civil war just yet um would be the sensible way of doing it because i'm replacing a bigger project so i need to drop one of the smaller ones so get it finished off so i think the plan for next year will be um, a continued american civil war epic napoleonic's epic fingers crossed if it comes out and a rolling process of bolt action um, projects it seems i may when i finish specific and and i want to do a bit of something in more sort of western europe um, i may give it a little break then and do another 28 mil project so maybe again 28 mil, mil napoleonics or something for sharp practice i'm looking at baron's war and things like that but it would have to fit in that space and if i've got two big epic black powder style games being worked on um, i need to be sensible about how many projects i have so that's that other future things on the channels i've hinted a few times i mentioned it before i want to do some battle reports um i'd love some feedback from you guys on what kind of things you'd like to see i have two ideas and i may go with both so i've got people that are kind of semi lined up for games um some that will be absolutely fantastic and want to be on the channel on camera chatting about the game and looking at all the dice rolls all, all that kind of stuff but i've also got some people who want to play games but don't really want to be on the channel or things like my son who wants to come and play a game and needs a lot of help but wants to roll the dice and things so they're kind of semi solo games in some ways with a bit of help but that again that wouldn't necessarily make the best viewing so I had the idea of maybe doing two kinds so one would be a, a purely narrative style game where you don't see the players as such and maybe i'd use um lots of stills um and effects and um still play out the game in the background maybe you don't see any dice rolls or maybe it's stop motion i don't know i've not fully designed but a way of of kind of displaying a game that's been played but with without seeing people um talking on camera maybe you'll see some some sort of time lapse of people moving um units and things like that but um, other than that that would be it so that's one idea um, and the other would be a more of your standard sort of battle report with sort of players talking before the game after the game discussing the game the chit chat that you get during the game and all those kind of things i've got a feeling i might want to do both and, and maybe both styles would would, would have an audience um, the, the former style means that i could start doing stuff earlier um, i could start doing smaller games um, it's quite easy for me to get the odd opponent to come and play the small games of American Civil War um, with maybe just a few regiments aside or a couple of a couple of brigades or something like that um, but those people aren't ones that want to be on the channel or, or I don't want to put on the channel too much like my son because he's only 77 next month um, anyway let me know your thoughts on that um, I definitely want to do some battle reports anyway especially with all the train I've been building up and all the lighting setup and things I've got it should be interesting to see um, the final thing I think in the last few days we edged over 850 subscribers just after seven months of the channel really 
fantastic. Really, 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 I didn't expect that at the beginning. I thought when I first started it, I might, you know, get up to the stage one, pushing sort of 500 after a year or so, and then it would kind of level off and I wouldn't go much further. I thought it'd be a bit too niche and things, but you've been absolutely fantastic as a community. Thank you to all the other channels that have kind of mentioned the name and shared and Plastic Crack guys, definitely for that. So it's really, really helped. And um, yeah, the trajectory I'm on now, I may even hit a thousand before Christmas, which would be great if I don't. I don't it's not the end of the world um, but I didn't think I'd even get this far so thank you very much for subscribing if you have already and if you haven't and you do watch my videos maybe consider doing it because it it will eventually help me out as well but uh, anyway thank you for watching um, what is always turns out to be a bit of a ramble these these hobby diaries um, they're not for everyone they don't get the highest views on the channel for obvious reasons but um, I know that some of you like to like to kind of engage and, and hear what the plans are for the channel and which direction it's going and that I've done that the best I can plans may change we don't know what releases may come out but as as I know things at the moment and as I feel about things that's that's the way I'd like it to go so thanks very much for watching please do like share and subscribe and all that jazz and take care and I'll catch you soon